Hey all welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren and today we're going to do another one of our test videos where we're going to try uh, cooking two different uh, ways actually. We're going to take two chuck roasts. We're actually going to cook them at the same time but we're going to do a test where we pre-season one chuck roast and we post season one after the sous vide cook. So I got one chuck roast here and one chuck roast here. I'm gonna, one's gonna be seasoned, one's not. So find out which one's better. I'll be right back. Forgive me, I'm gonna actually got a little bit of sinus action going on this weekend, so trying to get that cleared up. But yeah, so what we're gonna do today is take two chuck roasts. Uh, they're about, you know, one and a half, two pounds each. And we're gonna cook them both in the same bath same temperature same time but one of them this one here is not going to be seasoned before we sous vide it we're going to wait to season this one after it comes out of the sous vide bath when we go to sear it and this one we're going to go ahead and season right now and we're going to try out some of this new seasoning that i got from uh, heaven made products michael petrie over at heaven made products sent me some of his uh, spices to try seasonings and we're going to try his most popular one, this first one that he ever came out with, and it's called It's Incredible. It's supposed to be a really good all-purpose type seasoning. Um, from what I understand, it works really good with beef and steaks. So we're going to try to use that on this. We're going to season this up, give it a good coating on both sides of the meat. And when then we're going to throw it in our sous vide bag and toss these both in the sous vide bath at I'm gonna do one uh, 138 because I want them about medium I don't want these medium rare this time I'm gonna try them at medium and 138 for 36 hours gonna get some tenderness on them I don't want them too uh, mushy so we're gonna do 36 hours at 138 I'll get this in a bag throw them in the sous vide, and then all I have to do is wait. See you in a few. I just wanted to touch base for a second. I have done a preseason versus postseason uh, video before, but it was on some New York strip steaks that were only cooked sous vide for about three or four hours. So this this particular cook is going to be chuck roast that we're going to cook for 36 hours, which is a little bit different. The more time in the sous vide bath is going to give those seasonings a little bit more time to penetrate some of the uh, of the meat and spread out a little bit more than they normally would in a shorter cook. So that's one of the benefits of this kind of test is to see the longer cooks, the pre-season versus post-season and how it uh, affects the meat. But also I wanted to touch base on this uh, rub, the It's Incredible Rub from Heaven Made Products. You know, Michael Petrie, this is one of his first rubs that he made. And one of the uh, benefits of this rub, and it's not heavily salt-based, it does have some salt in it, but unlike most of your um, commercial rubs out there, salt is not the first ingredient. Um, usually when you, they list their ingredients, the first ingredient is what it's got primarily in it. And if you look at the, uh, if you look at the label on the It's Incredible Rub, the first, uh, first ingredient is freeze-dried garlic, granulated onion, parsley, black pepper, sugar, cornstarch, and then down the road, salt comes down way uh, in the line so make sure you check out the uh, link below for uh, heaven made products and it's incredible and I think you'll like it thanks guys and I'll see you in 36 hours hey all this is a delayed finish of my uh, uh, roast chuck roast cook that I did I actually got sick for a couple days and uh, ended up having some little issues come up so I actually took the uh, chuck roast out of the sous vide cooled them off 
put them away in the refrigerator for a couple days. So now what I'm going to do is actually put them back in the sous vide at the temp that I cooked them up to, 136. We're going to warm them up a little bit, then we're going to sear them up and have them for dinner. So still have the same ones, one that was pre-seasoned, one that was not seasoned yet. So I'm going to throw them in the sous vide to get them warmed back up, and then we'll toss them on the grill to get a nice sear on them. All right, guys, I'll be back. Let's see, this one here is the one that was not seasoned. And you can tell that doesn't have as much color as the one that was seasoned. This one's got a little bit more color to it. Remember, we're going to use the That's Incredible from Heaven Made Products. And I'm going to put just a little bit more on the one that was seasoned. And the one that wasn't seasoned, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on it as well. Before we sear it and just so I know which one is which after it comes off the grill I'm gonna go ahead and just give this one a cut right here in the middle and that'll make sure I know this one was the post seasoned one I'm gonna give it about as much seasoning as I had on the other And I've already dried these off pretty good. That's it. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and get these out on the grill and we're going to make our sauce real quick. All right. We're going to sear these hot and fast today on my Camp Chef sear box, a gas sear box. That way we don't have any kind of smoke or anything uh, interfering with the taste difference. So I've already had it on there for about a little over a minute on one side. And we're going to let it sear up a little bit more on this side just to get that nice sear color. Diard reaction. It's about a six, seven hundred degree temp right there on the on the grill. Not really looking for any kind of grill marks or anything. I just want to get a nice brown sear on both sides really well. All right, so this is the one I cut in the middle. So that was the one that was not seasoned prior to uh, sous vide. And this one here was seasoned. And they look pretty much the same. This one's got a, it's a little flatter, I guess, so it's got a little bit more sear on it on here. This is, and maybe this kind of popped up a little bit because of the cut. But they both got a pretty good sear on it. I'm going to go ahead and just let me cut right from the middle here. And you can see it's still pretty medium. I did it at 136. So it's nice and tender, that's for sure. I can tell that just from the, the knife went right through it. So I'm going to take a bite of this one. definitely um, you can definitely tell it wasn't seasoned beforehand because um, there's not a lot of seasoning even though I put a lot of it on the steak or the chuck roast <coughs> just really can't taste it as well mm. I have to have a drink so yeah you can definitely tell that one has a little bit less seasoning I'm going to take it from the same area, this one, and it's the same doneness, a medium. Tenderness is about the same. Mm. You can tell though, this one's got a little bit more flavor to it. You can tell that it was definitely seasoned more. Um, I've done this experiment before on shorter cooks and longer cooks. It's just, I found, you can do it yourself. If you feel that it doesn't do any good to season beforehand, you can, you're more than welcome to see, uh, cook that way. But I, I always find, no matter how I do it, seasoning before sous vide always produces more flavor to the meat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll take a piece off of each end. And we're going to use our sauce. We'll pour a little bit of our sauce on there. 
see how that came out kind of show you kind of a demi glaze here kind of pour a little bit on each piece go to the one that uh, wasn't pre-season that definitely gives it a better flavor hmm definitely definitely needed some of that sauce <clears throat> Oh, my counter's clean. Mm. That's, sauce is pretty good. That's it. Like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Um, like I said, I, I've done this experiment before plenty of times, but I've always found that pre-seasoning in the bag before you sous vide does make a better uh, tasting meat. You can do it any way you want. Do this experiment yourself. Make some uh, demi glaze from the uh, sauce in the bag or the fluid in the bag. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Make sure you follow our next video. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Take care.